are kidding me. Oh my goodness. You're kidding. Well, I'll be. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Francis, I guess I better go. I, I gotta get going, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, say hey to Charlie for me. Okay. 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 Uh, all right. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Oh, well, I guess I better start on my Christmas cards. You know, Christmas is coming early this year. I think I'm going to start with the Bettys since there's so many of them. But, you know, Betty recently moved, so... I got to look in my church directory what her address is. But wait, <gasps> there's an app for that. That's right, folks. Now the church directory is right on your cell phone. Hey, everybody. My name's Sarah Kate, and I'm the director of Christian education here at Virginia Wingard Memorial United Methodist Church. And this video is all about our brand new church directory app. I'm going to show you how to install it, how to use it, what it's going to look like once you open it up. And we really hope this new church directory app is going to help you out a lot. So first I'm going to show you how to download the Shelby Next app onto your cell phone. Step one, you'll need a cell phone. Next you're going to want to find the app store or the place that you download apps onto your cell phone. So click on your app store. Click wherever there is a search button, and in the search bar, you're going to type Shelby Next. This first app that pops up is the app you're going to download. It has a white background with a blue X. The Shelby Next Giving app is a different app, and we're not gonna download that one today. Once you've downloaded the app, you can find it on your phone wherever it was downloaded, or you can tap open to open the app. Once you've downloaded the Shelby Next app and you open the app, you're gonna open it to a screen that looks exactly like this. After you open the screen, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is right here where it says domain, you're gonna wanna replace the word domain with Virginia Wingard UMC. So let's do that now. Click on it to select it. Virginia Wingard UMC, that's Shelby Next, chms.com. That's what you want that first bar to say. The next thing you're gonna wanna do, once you open the app and make sure your domain name is correct, is you're gonna wanna go to the email that the church sent out and in that email you'll find a temporary username and password so that's what we're going to enter here for the purposes of this video i set up along with carolyn we set up a little fake account with the name uh, the sunshine family so we're going to use melody sunshine as an example here to show you what it's going to look like once you log into your account. So this is the example that we got from the Sunshine family. This is what I've entered and I'm going to click sign in. Uh oh, we have a failed login. Now if this happens to you, one thing you can do is go back and check everything in your on your screen here and now I can see that I accidentally spelled Wingard with an M so that's my problem I'm gonna correct that now there we go Virginia Wingard UMC that shall be next Melody Sunshine now we have our username, our temporary password set in. We made sure our domain name was correct. Now we're going to click sign in to the Shelby Next app. This is what it will look like the first time you sign in to your Shelby Next app. You'll see Shelby Next, you'll see the directory, you'll see a gift button, and you should see your name there at the bottom of the screen. Once you get into the Shelby Next app, 
Let's look around. If you click on directory, you'll see all of the names here on the directory. So this is my section on the, the church directory app. As you can see, there will be an opportunity for us to upload photos of one another. Now we're back here on the main screen of Shelby Next. And this is Melody Sunshine's account. And in the future, you'll have an opportunity to give directly from the Shelby Next app. Now that isn't set up quite yet, but if you touch the give button, you'll be able to select the amount you wanna give, how you wanna give it, and what fund it goes to. Keep in mind, no one else will be able to see the giving that occurs from your account on the church directory. Only you and Carolyn Jackson, the finance director, will be able to see this information on the app. If ever you would like to change anything about your information on the church directory, all you have to do is give the office a call and we'll make sure to update your phone number or address and it'll be available right here on the app. If you'd like to see more information about your own profile on the app, all you have to do is click on your name. Here, we see Melody Sunshine's whole family. Her husband, Rayo Sunshine, her son, Chase Sunshine, and her daughter, Penny Sunshine. We see her phone number, 867-5409. We see her cell phone number, her email address, now I want to show you what it looks like if you're not Melody Sunshine, but you're viewing Melody Sunshine's profile. So I'm going to log in from a different profile here. Okay, so I've got Jackie's profile and password entered here. I want to show you what it looks like from another person's profile. So here you'll see the directory, the give button, and Jackie's profile. Click on Melody, and here I can see her address. The, name, the people in her family, her phone, her email, and I can see the day she was born, but notice I can't see the year she was born, her age, or anything about her giving. So this is what you'll be able to see from your perspective about the other members in the Church Directory app. Here's another example of logging into your Shelby Next app. First, open your app and replace the word domain with Virginia Wingard UMC. No capital letters and no spaces. Next you're going to want to have your username and the temporary password that was emailed to you by the church. You can write that down and have it handy in order to log in. If for some reason you can't find this password and log in, you can email the church or let Carolyn know and she can send you a new one. Click login and you'll see the directory, a give button, and your own name. Click on your name and you'll see your own profile and information. If you'd like to change your password, Here's where you can change your old temporary password into a new password. Make sure you write down your new password and that it's something easy for you to remember. Once you change your password, you once you change your password, you're definitely going to need to have a handy. After you change your password, Carolyn and the church office won't be able to help you log in any longer. Here's another quick look at Melody Sunshine's profile from another perspective. You can see that you can click on other members of her family to learn more about them. Here we see Chase was born on March 2nd. And then if we click on Penny's, we see she was born on July 1st. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope that you found these directions really helpful. I want to give a big shout out to Carolyn Jackson, our director of finance, who helped me out so much in creating the app. And I also want to let you know that if you ever have any problems with the app, just call the church office, get in contact with me, and we can answer your questions for you. See you next time.